So I'm taking a stroll through St. Armand Circle. It's October 12th, today, 2024, and we were hit just a few days ago with Hurricane Milton, uh, only, you know, about a week and a half after uh, Hurricane Debbie. And Hurricane Debbie devastated this area. So this video is going to show you a lot of footage. I'm going to turn the camera around as I walk and talk. We're going to be talking about insurance today and my prediction for insurance. But you're going to see what's happened in this area uh, as I talk about the future of uh, the, the, the beginning of the escalation of our problems so let's start this walk and already let me just show you what's happening here um, by the way my name is Machek Zaremba I'm a real estate agent in Sarasota and Manatee counties in uh, Florida so if you have any questions about what's actually going on here just let me know uh, I am here boots on the ground so uh, let's talk about insurance and what I think is actually going to be happening with insurance after all this damage. There's going to be a lot of pauses uh, in this conversation because I'm going to show you just a lot of damage, you know. Obviously just little lights like this being ripped off, uh, just normal stuff, planters being moved, normal stuff. But, you know, as we kind of come here, so sad to see the, uh, the awnings here ripped up and you know they're just they're not looking good this is Kilwins. this is literally my favorite number one place to get ice cream and fudge on the circle i love this place and uh it's all uh you know it's it's not even boarded up but it, they are they did cover uh the windows with paper it's not going to do much uh Kilwins. but this one here uh this gallery the wyland gallery my brother actually used to work here for a short time uh this here is all boarded up but uh, let's talk about what's uh, what's going to happen with all of these insurance claims because I don't know if you remember, but we had uh, you know three hurricanes in a, about a two month time span that hit our area. So a lot of times when insurance is being underwritten, they base it on you know the property age, uh, the the damage to the property, the age of all the equipment. But of course, they also look at the zip code. And right now, all of the zip codes in our area is uh, is going to have a lot of claims. So what that's going to do in the in the short and the long run really is going to change this for a very long time is is going to create a higher risk now mind you i've lived here in sarasota since uh, 1992 i've been here 32 years and i have never seen flooding like this i have never seen devastation like this i have never experienced hurricanes this bad so this is a very rare event this is not normal for our area and I don't think it's going to continue to be normal. I know a lot of people are going to be talking about the change that's happening, uh, you know, throughout the uh, years with the climate and blaming it on that. And look, maybe it's true. I don't know what the real reason is. All I know is that with these insurance claims that the businesses and the people, uh, residences are going to be claiming is going to increase the premiums for this area, period. It's very simple the way it works. So, uh, you know, w with our uh, last hurricane, uh, Debbie, not Milton, that just happened, but Debbie, as you can tell here, this is how high the water rose, right? This is about four feet. This is to my waist. I'm six foot three, you know? So this is, I mean, it's at least three, three and a half feet. And, uh, and this, uh, you know, this raised this high and did damage and everything's been cleared out. They brought it out to the street and thankfully a lot of it was picked up in this area. But, you know, as we're looking into the storefronts, I'm sorry, but there's nothing there. There's nothing here. This is St. Armand Circle and everything has been wiped out. Uh, will it come back? Yeah, sure. You know, as we keep walking here, I'm not showing you just the street level. And this is post cleanup. This has already been cleaned up. And we have these giant, you know, 200 pound pots uh, laying over. We have trash everywhere and that's, that's expected. Uh, and then we have all the drywall uh, knocked out from these businesses and they didn't even get a chance to do any repairs. And here we are. Uh, it's still wet inside this, this unit. It's still wet, you know? Um, caravan treasures from Turkey I haven't been in that store how about this how about look at this this has come down the window has completely come down there goes hurricane impact 
And, uh, you know, they got their lights on. That's kind of nice. But overall, I feel bad for all these business owners. They had to rip out the drywall, as you can tell, rip out the insulation, as you can tell, let everything start drying, and basically everything, all the cabinets, everything got taken out. Now, this one is, uh, you know, uh, was, was, had Tapcon screws uh, screwed in, and it's not like they're rusted or anything, right? This, this is looking good, but unfortunately, they use Tapcons into wood, that is not the proper way to secure. You use Tapcons into concrete like this. And I'm not a builder, I'm not a construction expert, but I don't think that was installed properly. This is lobster craft. So it's looking, it's looking rough guys. It's looking really rough. Now I'm surprised they're letting cars on the island. That's very nice uh, for them to do that. But let's go to the back a little bit because this is just the, the, the front. You know, in the front, they kind of try to clean up right away. And uh, now we're gonna be able to see a little bit of the residences and just gen generally, what is it looking like here? I mean, well, same bed. Looking rough. We have so much trash out everywhere, just laying on the street. Now, this will be cleaned up soon. That's the good news. Uh, this is a very wealthy area, and the wealthy areas uh, get addressed first. But as we kind of come to, you know, these homes, look, this, these people, they removed their uh, luxury vinyl plank flooring, and even though it's waterproof, I mean, it's completely waterproof, but uh, whatever, everyone has their own decisions. Maybe it's a smart decision to prevent mold from growing. You know, we have, waste dumpsters completely empty we have tons of furniture out here and this isn't from this last hurricane this is from the the previous hurricane Debbie and people had stuff on the side of the road and it just flew around everywhere now as we're on the back side of St. Armand Circle this building is on St. Armand Circle look at this we have an AC unit knocked over craziness what kind of you know hurricane force winds caused this to happen and it's really odd actually because this is like a corner i i don't i don't think i don't know i'm not saying something bad is happening but wow look at this the whole cover of the ac unit and you know you got to watch out where you're walking here there's a lot of uh wood with screws sticking out i mean this is not looking too pretty so you know, when it comes to our, our future, here's one thing that I'm thinking might happen. Um, I think they're gonna knock down a lot of buildings, especially on Siesta Key. Siesta Key had major, major damage. Uh, it had flooding. And a lot of the buildings are just not worth fixing up. Uh, the, the, the building's still gonna be more expensive because it's old. And then it's gonna have a history of flooding. Um, that's not good either and you know at the end of the day um, it sometimes is just better for a developer to come in knock it down and build something better but you know what build something new but you know what's really bad though is that when that happens people cannot afford those homes it gets it gets more exclusive so even though prices might come down uh, this whole dumpsters knocked over even though uh, prices might come down um, for, for a short time because of all the damage and demand is really low at this time uh, or after times like this um, what, what I think may happen is they're gonna come in they're gonna buy them up cheap they're gonna demolish them they're gonna build and and the actual long-term values are gonna go up even higher because Siesta Key is gonna get more exclusive than it is right now that's that's my prediction I think we're gonna get more expensive uh, as as homes get demolished sold for land value to developers and then uh, end up being, you know, built, uh, new mansions being built on them. So, you know, look at this, guys. Look at all of this trash. See, this did not get picked up uh, after the first hurricane. And uh, this, unfortunately, is, is devastation for these business owners, for the owners of these buildings. And, um, you know, I feel for them. 
Unfortunately, the $750 FEMA loan is not gonna do anything for people in this situation. I mean, it's gonna buy you a little bit of food, literally, and then you have to pay back that loan. It's really sad how the, the FEMA program is not um, benefiting the locals right now in this devastation. Oh, well, they cleaned up pretty good. This is looking nice. So guys, as we keep walking here on St. Armand Circle, um, what do you think is gonna happen with rentals, right? Think about it like this. A lot of people are out of power, uh, are displaced from their home, and they need to get a temporary home. So I think some rentals, uh, residential rentals, are going to uh, get rented. And they're gonna get rented, for, you know, Airbnb short term or mid term, maybe for two, three months, uh, as things get repaired, as uh, properties get uh, back into you know uh, an occupancy status right because right now you can't occupy uh, three quarters of the homes on siesta even though I'm walking on Lido and even though we have beautiful homes like this one right here and the one right next to it which you know seems like they have no damage on the actual building itself even though that's what we're seeing here just one island south of us uh, we have much much bigger problems so let me ask you this do you think that we're gonna have a redevelopment of the area and it's gonna be even more cost prohibitive that's what I think is gonna happen guys my name is Machek Zaremba. I am a real estate agent in Sarasota and Manatee County. I am here, boots on the ground. I've been here for 32 years and I've been an agent, a uh, licensed agent for over 20 years. So if you have any questions about anything, let me know. If you're thinking about selling your home, let me know. I'd be glad to help you out. I'll be glad to help you position the property so that it sells because the demand is really low. And if you're thinking about doing a for sale by owner, also reach out to me uh, because I have, uh, I have a resource that can help you quite a bit. Uh, my number is 941-888-SOLD. 941-888-SOLD. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully the next video will be better, will not just be all about the damage.